Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back. You're here with me, Shapeless, aka The Game Tamer, in another in-depth, gigantic tutorial. Uh, today we'll be going over the shooter utility class hero known as Vodin. He is a trickster, this one. But he is the first shooter that I'm showing you guys. Shooters are basically the ADCs, AD carry nonsense. I can't really say AD carry because it's not like attack damage that they could do. It's just he's he shoots he shoots from a distance that's basically his shtick but anyway uh, left click fire an arrow hold the uh, left mouse button to power up obviously much like a Hanzo shot uh, right mouse click create a poison cloud that lasts six seconds which is negative 50% healing in it stand in the cloud to fire poisonous arrows uh, green man Q, create a decoy that runs and attacks. Uh, you gain stealth for five seconds, but you cannot sprint. Decoy is destroyed upon leaving stealth, which would be also, which I have found out is caused by using any ability and attacking. Uh, e, hidden spring, creates pool that heals self and allies for six seconds. And then you have natural roots, fire and arrow that deals damage and immobilizes all foes in an area. All right. Let's check it out. Let's get in there. The land demands benches. All right. First of all, his running animation is pretty awesome. All right. Left mouse click up. Uh, powered up shots deal 20% extra damage. Okay, naturally good. And powered up shots fire a spread of five arrows. Both of these seem really good. Um, I really feel kind of like sp spread the pain would be more of like a like back off kind of thing rather than a trying to deal damage outer arrows do less damage okay fair enough uh, but if you're going damage which I would presume on this guy because you're just kinda you're you're sneaky you're trying to do damage you're trying to get your damage in I would uh I would say that most likely the meta choice to go would be damage on uh, left mouse uh, so for this you have powered up shots fly faster and farther and deal full damage at longer ranges. Okay, that's not bad, but um, a lot of the maps don't really have you going super long, so it would be dependent on like the actual damage fall off. Uh, shots power up 33% faster. Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, I guess it would be very based off of kind of like... Like what's your what's your regular click speed? Okay, so I mean it's like one, two. It's about maybe a little under two seconds to full cast those. So I I, I would still say that uh, long shot's probably better because I'm pretty sure there's damage fall off and I'm not shooting from that far away. So I would say that probably the meta choice here would go with long shot. Uh, right mouse click. Uh, more spores. Poison cloud lasts longer and covers a larger area. Uh, you can buff that for damage and more poison. Poison enemies infect nearby foes with poison. Hmm. But adds an extra five seconds to the cooldown. Hmm, that's interesting. Or you could have it on hit deals 150 damage. That's not bad. Throws a poison cloud that explodes on impact and inflicts poison. Okay, this could be interesting. Uh, poison Cloud has homing. That's pretty good. How much damage does it do, though? Does it do damage at all? I think it does. Uh, yeah, I've messed around with this, and it does do damage. Um, and the plus 50 on the acute poison, direct hits deal increased damage and inflict heavy poison. I would only say you should use that if you are against a healer and have pretty good coverage of how well you can aim. Because it's a very slow, it's a it's a kind of slow moving projectile. It's like boom, it'll eventually get there. But um, the hungry spores one is really nice. Uh, it does really good damage. The extra fifty is just it does three hundred damage instead of two fifty, or it does two fifty instead of two hundred. I don't remember the exact numbers right now, but it's really not that much of a damage fall off. So if you're really just trying to keep like this kitey mischievous kind of dude, then I would definitely go with hungry spores in this. Uh, this equation and we have our Q where we have our decoy so alternate route Q Q teleport to your decoys position decoys destroyed that could be pretty nice 
uh, after teleporting, you're healed for 250. That's not bad. That gives you a that gives you a more on call heal. And then after teleporting, you regain 15 stamina and you get haste for three seconds. Hmm. Those are both really good. Or you can go with companions. Boom. Decoy now fights alongside you and deals increased damage, plus 130 damage, which would probably equal out to a 170 because I believe your companion does 40 damage, roughly, when he attacks, but you no longer get stealth. Hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, spore imitation. Decoy will also fire homing poison clouds at enemy. Deals 75 damage, inflicts poison. Hmm, so you could have an extra poison cloud every so often that's not bad or spring to life decoy will create healing springs at his feet okay so that's another utility option so this one's definitely utility tree side and this one's much more like i'm trying to solo do things with myself so like kind of assassin shooter uh which i would still prefer because in like if you're in a solo queue thing situation where you're doing stuff yourself i would definitely go down this tree but if you kind of have better teammates and you're making call outs and stuff like that and you're not going to really put yourself in a bad position too often, I would say go this way and kind of vary those based on your situation. Now we have the E. On use creates a second spring at target location, springs health for 50% more. That's not bad. Cleanses debuffs on start, that's also really good. Or healing from the spring lasts for an extra one second. Hmm. Definitely the utility tree, but this looks like a completely utility ability. Uh, Geyser, allies in the spring gain super jump. This actually seems really nice because super jump in this game is actually really strong. Uh, if you guys remember from my Uncle Sven tutorial, uh, where it just makes you really hard to hit because like you're flying through the air. If you sprint, then you move a little really far. Um, but on use gain 25 stamina. That's not bad. Or burst forth. On use pushes enemies, slows enemies who enter the spring. Yeah, that's kind of like a get away, get out of jail card. That one's not bad at all. For our upgrades, we have plus one to poison duration, which is not bad. Plus one stealth and decoy duration, which is really good. Uh, and then plus 35% healing. So we have utility, we have strict damage, and then we have like team stuff. So. Honestly, um, he's a very well-rounded character, it seems. Uh, he seems like he's really strong. Uh, let's see his damage output. Alright, so about 210 at this range. 191, 210, 230 on crits. Yeah, so that's not bad. So let's go ahead and upgrade this to our meta choice, which would be this. Okay, so we're doing a full... 230 at non crits. That's actually really good. Holy shit. Let's see here. Yeah, we're doing full 230 at that range. So I wonder what, how much we crit for. Can I crit, please? There we go. 275. Alright, so that's not a bad crit. Uh, he actually hits pretty hard. Um, alright, let's go with our, uh, throws Poison Cloud, and then we'll go Poison Cloud has Homing. We will do... Companion's Boon with Homing, and we'll do Super Jump with Push Enemies. So here we go, and here we have our abilities here. So, full on, here's the right click. Homes in. Alright. As you can see, he'll shoot. Boom. He does pretty decent damage. He's also really hard to kill. Like, he actually has a lot of health. But here we go. And there's your super jump. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I keep falling. <laughs> Got him. Boom. Bitch. Oh, decoy got it. But, uh... That's pretty much it for uh, Voden, guys. Uh, he's a really great character, really great shooter. 
Uh, I definitely recommend trying to pick him up and play him a bit. Um, take him into practice matches because right now in the game, you can only do so much when it comes to like gaining medals and stuff that you use to buy heroes. So um, I would say build up to about 5,000. Check the 5,000 heroes. If you enjoy one of them, then definitely pick them up and play them. Just, just because this game is absolutely hilarious and fun to play, but mainly when you're playing characters that you really like. And there's so many likable characters in this game, guys. But anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, thank you once again for checking out the videos and checking out the tutorials. If you guys want to see more, uh, I do have a full series of these tutorials coming out. Uh, later on, there will be Taito, the Swift, and Mozu, the Wand Thief. That will also be coming out tonight. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like all the content, don't forget to like and subscribe whip them buttons into shape for me because they are dreadfully out of it. But once again, and as always, guys, you stay tame. I'm going to try to do the same, and I will see you all in the next one.